So guys, um, due to uh, COVID-19 and everything going on, we are coming back with another unusual video. Um, but I wanted to just share this uh, tour with you guys today. This is a home that we have done down towards the beach. Um, and we have had a lot of fun working on this project. Uh, before I get too involved in the video, I would like for you to uh, subscribe down below, click that notification bell so you can be notified the next time we upload a new video. And um, let's just get into the video, guys. Uh, this is a house we've co uh, filmed down at Cape Carteret. I'm going to be doing a voiceover uh, of the video. The lady that went and filmed this was there on the property today by herself, so very safe um, for her to be out uh, to do that. Uh, we're trying to take all the necessary precautions to get through COVID-19 and we hope that everything uh, goes smoothly and, and, and just ends very quickly um, so we can get back to normal or what we think is normal. <laughs> so guys, I hope you enjoy this video. Um, let's hop right into it. All right, guys, so I know this is a little bit of a different video, but we have a beautiful off-frame modular here. This is a two-bedroom, two-bath home. Uh, this is a, I love the blue color. This is right down by the coast in Cape Carteret. We have um, a fully cinder block foundation. Now, this customer used this as a storage uh, underneath, and I think eventually they'll probably finish it out. But they did put in some windows down there, and it just looks so good we usually don't get to do things like this i love that vinyl railing coming down the steps in the front this is where you would drive up to the home and see the front of the home so the customers really wanted a kind of grand entrance now looking out the back this home has three decks this is one of them it is the back and uh, it has a great surprise at atrium door walking right into the master bedroom so you guys will get to see that in just a little bit but as you see here you do have center box um, and that is what the foundation is on this house. As you see, we also put a garage door back there for easy access so you could uh, store stuff. This customer really thought through this whole process. It looks super fantastic. So we are going to go in right now. As you can see, you could put a couple chairs up here. This is your little front porch, for front cover porch. Um, I love the blue siding with the white shutters and looking back down uh, the vinyl railings. Now guys, we could do these on any home. It does not have to be a home that is lifted in the air. We could do these on any home if you request it. Um, you know, of course it does cost a little bit more, but it really does make the difference when building a home. As you can see here, we're looking straight into a very white kitchen. This house is right down by the coast. So they wanted everything really light and bright. And we really kind of delivered on that. We did the darker, uh, mica countertops to kind of contrast all the white in the room but it just turned out really fantastic now this is where your eat-in kitchen would be this would be enough room or a dining room sorry um this would be enough room for you to put a really nice dining room table with a lot a lot of natural light coming in through those three windows And as you can see here, we did the barnwood floor throughout. Uh, it really added a really nice touch throughout this home. Now, this customer has really thought through this kitchen. There is a ton of outlets. As you just saw, we put outlets on the side of the island. And there's also space on the other side of the island for some bar stools. So this might not be a very huge house, but it is a really well thought out home. Um, we put a regular dual sink in this home. Now, most homes now, people are requesting uh, your farmhouse sinks and stuff, but we can do regular sinks if you guys would like that. Um, we also put in here for this customer a gas range. Um, we can do this pretty much on any of our manufacturers, and gas appliances come in any style, so you could do stainless, black, or white. Um, so a lot of people don't even know we can offer white appliances, but we do. Now this is looking back into the really spacious living room. We have four windows in this room and it lets in a ton, a ton of natural light. I love how that looks. Guys, this is coming down the hallway. Again, this is a two bedroom, two bath home. Uh, this couple has just retired and moved down to the coast. So they didn't need a whole lot of space. But again, this th uh, whole home is really thought out well, really, really well. 
Um, looking into the laundry room, you do have a separate entrance into the laundry room. So this house has three entrances. Um, so it makes life really convenient, especially if you need to get down to your car and you're in the laundry room. Guys, this is looking into the second bedroom. Um, this has a ceiling fan in here and we also did carpet, but this is actually a really good size second bedroom. Um, most second bedrooms aren't this big. So this room, I think this house used to be designed as a three bedroom. So I think this second bedroom kind of took up some of the space of where the three bedroom would be. Really nice, good size ceilings. And also too, we do have a good closet here. Um, again, this is a second bedroom. So it's not a full walk-in closet like would be in the master. Now, if we're coming back down the hallway, next thing we're going to show off is our Clayton homes have these Ecobee thermostats, and these can be controlled by your phone. So that's really cool that uh, all their homes have that. This is looking at the second bath or what your guests would use. We did put square porcelain sinks in here. And we did the white cabinets to match the kitchen. This is a one-piece fiberglass shower tub combo. And it's just perfect for a guest bathroom. Now, this is the surprise I was telling you guys about. That atrium door leads out into a really nice size deck. Overlooking the little um, river that is behind this person's, this customer's house. Um, it lets in a ton of natural light. And this is the master bedroom. I couldn't dream of a better life of waking up and having that deck right outside your house so you could go out there and drink a cup of coffee in the morning i love how this customer has designed this home now this is looking into the master bath with two with dual vanity square porcelain sinks so you definitely want to have two sinks in a master bath and most of our homes do have that nowadays um we did do the white cabinets and the dark formica to match the kitchen as well now, this shower is a 4x8 uh, tiled Amazon rain shower. That transom window lets in a lot of natural light into this bathroom. We did the, gla the ga glass tile mosaic inlay, um, and it just adds a really nice touch to this, to this shower. You also get a uh, uh, seat in the shower as well. So, like I said before, this is just a really well thought out home. Again, the barn with floors carry throughout this home into the bathroom. Again, if you guys notice that there's not an a actual light fixture above that mirror, is because there is LED candle lights throughout this whole home, and it just makes it super bright whenever the power is turned on. I love the view of that deck from the atrium door. Now, this is walking back, <coughs> excuse me, back down the hallway um, toward the front door and where the kitchen and living room were. Another quick glance at the bath. And also to another quick glance at the laundry room. As you see here, there also is a deck out on the side of the home, even though uh, probably wouldn't get a whole lot of use, but it is there if you needed it. Now, um, this video has been a little different, but I wanted to thank you guys for coming in. And, you know, this is a two-bedroom, two-bath home down in Cape Carteret. And we'll see you next time, guys. Thank you for tuning in.